Hi, I'm Maron Sahami, a professor here at Stanford University, and today we're going to talk about some controversial takes on AI and other topics in computer science that we've seen on social media. So what made me pursue a career in CS education? Part of the reason I wanted to be a teacher is because I had fantastic teachers when I was growing up, both in elementary school, middle school, high school. There were just educators throughout my life that really helped guide the path of my life, that really made a difference. My whole family is involved in education in some way. And so for me to be able to continue to pursue that field, especially in computer science, an area that I love combined with education and endeavor that I think is really important, was just basically magic for me. And so the opportunity to be able to do this, to actually teach computer science education, I think is the best job in the world. What's a moment in your teaching career that reaffirmed your belief in the power of education? I would say every day reaffirms my belief in the power of education. I think education is one of the great equalizers in our society. It's one of the things that gives people skills to be able to move ahead, to advance, to be able to provide for their families. And so I think of education as an amazing opportunity we have to help other people and in a sense be helped ourselves because helping others makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you feel better about the community that you're a part of. And all of that is driven by the ability to teach, the ability to educate others. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing and I wouldn't give it up for anything. How has teaching computer science impacted the way you do computer science? I'd say one of the biggest things you get from teaching is understanding something better yourself. In order to be able to teach a subject to someone else, to really explain it, to answer their questions, you need to push your own depth of understanding. And you also find out the things that you actually don't know. And then you go learn about those things and it gives you a richer picture. It gives you a more complete knowledge of the thing that you're trying to teach. And so the way it's impacted the way I do computer science is it's actually made me a better computer scientist to be a teacher because it's pushed me to learn more, to have a deeper understanding, and then to be able to collaborate better with other people to use that understanding to help push the field forward. How have the skills you've developed in computer science affected other areas of your life? Well, I'd say the biggest thing about computer science and understanding programming is you understand problem solving. And problem solving isn't just something that happens on computers. It's something that happens in our world in general. And so when you think about tackling big problems, you think about how do I break this problem down into smaller pieces that are more manageable so I don't get overwhelmed? How do I get help on pieces of the problem that I might not have expertise in, but I could call a friend or I could bring people together to help address that problem? Those are real life skills. Even though they're driven by ideas in computer science, they actually make you a better problem solver in life in general. How has the nature of education and pedagogy changed as a result of the advent of LLMs? What do you see as the most impactful skills aspiring educators can pick up? And how has their role shifted, if at all? I think one of the things that's very important for an educator is understanding where your students are at. And so when we think about tools like large language models that might help, say, in someone generating code or generating the solution for a particular problem, as an educator, one of the things we need to be aware of is how much understanding does the student actually have about the output that's generated from those tools? How can they be critical of the output that's generated if there might be errors or information that's not accurate? And how is the student really doing overall, which isn't something that changes as a result of the advent of large language models. It's something that's just about being a good educator is understanding your students, meeting them at their level, and helping them move to the next level. So I think there's lots of ways that LLMs are impacting education, but I think that our most critical roles as educators remain the same, and that's to support our students in whatever way we can. If I have access to an AI, why do I need to learn from a human? Well, despite the fact that AI is getting good or even getting better over time, there's nothing that beats having human interaction to do your learning. Because a human being can not only convey information, that's only part of the learning process. A human being can understand how you're absorbing it, 
where you're having difficulty, where you may need help, or sometimes just when you need a kind word to be able to keep moving forward. So human empathy and human understanding is still something that AI hasn't gotten particularly good at, and that's why it makes a real difference to learn from a human being rather than just a machine. What does it mean for an engineer to give back to the CS community? And how does teaching fit into that? Well, one of the things that's important when you think about the power that you get from understanding computer science, the opportunities that provides to build things, employment opportunities, to really make an impact in the world, it's incumbent on us as part of the CS community to help make more people aware of those power tools in the world. And teaching fits right into that. It's a way to be able to show other people the power and magic of programming, the kinds of things they can build, the kinds of problems they can solve, and being able to think about addressing things that matter, not just to other people, but to them, that they have the power to be able to build those kinds of applications and tools themselves to address the problems that they think are important, not just what other people think are important. And so that notion of giving back, really that notion of empowering others, is a critical part of taking our skills in computer science and making them available to the broader community.